The American dream is getting a college degree and this job and this white picket fence. But all of that has this huge debt behind it. Right now, 69% of Americans have less than $1,000 in savings and 34% have no savings at all. Literally one paycheck from the edge. This is not an individual problem. This is something that's besetting all of us. Everybody says money can't make happiness, you know? But money makes the world go round. The consumerism culture is harmful. It really hurts people. We are spending money we don't have to buy things we don't need to impress people we don't even know. The standard narrative doesn't make sense. We have to throw out that outdated advice and write a new rule book. I realized even at the early stage that I'd sort of accidentally started a cult. Hey, Spencer, how are you doing today? People have figured out that if you save half your income, you can all of a sudden move that retirement date up from 50 years out to just 17 years out. I am financially independent at 30. It took us about nine years to save a million dollars. The shockingly simple math behind early retirement. You just see it, and your life is changed forever. Walking out of the office right now, I just quit my job. Whew, that was really hard. My name is Scott Rickens. Like most people, money has never been easy for our family. This year, we're starting our own journey to financial independence. To pick up your life and just move. That is extraordinarily difficult. There's something scary about going, here's what's important to me in life. Here's how I'm going to live my life. We're doing a lot of things at once, changing our entire lifestyle of spending too much money. We're trying to figure out where we want to live while still working, while raising a baby. You have to reconcile in your mind that it's going to be a wild and bumpy ride at times. Can you do a $5,000 car? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're going to need help with this. The math is super, super simple. The thing that's hard, though, is the psychology. You know, what's all this work for if I can't even live in a two-bedroom in a nice neighborhood? What have we done? I've made a huge mistake. Like, it was, <laughs> uh... This has not been an easy journey. With all the hardships, with all the tears, I don't want to be crying. This may not work. And if it doesn't work, I've really sold a bill of goods to my wife, to my family. We've invested everything. This has to work. 